This lesson is all about understanding how sound is represented digitally and how we can manipulate it using Python. We start by importing two essential libraries, numpy and matplotlib.pyplot, which we installed in the previous lesson. Now let's create a simple sine wave. In sound processing, a sine wave is a fundamental wave form and serves as a great starting point for understanding more complex sounds. We use numpy to create a series of points representing our sine wave. The function generates 500 evenly spaced points between 0 and 1, which we'll use as our time axis. Next, we create the sine wave itself. This line of code generates the sine wave by calculating the sine of each point in our time series. The next part controls the frequency of our sine wave. Here, we're creating a sine wave with a frequency of 5 Hz. Finally, we plot this sine wave using matplotlib.pyplot. By the way, plotting simply means drawing a line. This function draws our sine wave, with t as the time axis and sine wave as the amplitude at each point in time. We add labels and a title to our beautiful piece of art to make it clear and informative. This visualization will help you see the basic structure of a sound wave. Understanding this is key as we delve deeper into digital audio processing in our upcoming lessons. Let's run this code and see our first digital sound wave come to life. In the next lesson, we're going to dive into more Python libraries specifically designed for music production.